Hi, welcome back to the Typing Mind channel. Today, I'll show you how to use Claude 3.7 Sonnet and Perplexity Deep Research, their latest model, to figure out the impacts of current tariffs on the U.S. stock market. Trust me, these AIs have done an amazing job. They went through all the latest news and info on the topic, gave me comprehensive data and insights, and even helped me generate a PowerPoint file with everything included. I couldn't ask for more. All right, let me show you how to do it. First, I installed the Perplexity plugin in the Plugins tab. You'll need two things to set it up. Your Perplexity API key, I've included a document on how to get it in the description below, check it out if you're stuck, and the latest Deep Research model ID, which is Sonar Deep Research. Once you've entered those, click Save. All set for the Perplexity plugin. Now let's have a chat with Claude 3.7 Sonnet. You can use any AI model though, just go to the models panel to switch, but make sure the perplexity plugin is enabled. All right, let's chat. I asked, can you help me research how tariffs affect the US stock market in 2025? The plugin started running and I did have to wait for a bit, less than 30 seconds actually. Since it's deep research, it takes some time. You'll see a thinking tag, which means it's using its reasoning capability to gather reliable information. It began searching through multiple sources, like Goldman Sachs News, Tax Foundation Analysis, and more. At the end, it even provided citations, which is super helpful for theses or presentations, since you can credit or link to the original sources. It showed me the current tariff landscape for 2025. Highlights include severe points like a 25% tariff for Canada and Mexico, and an additional 10% for China, among others. It also broke down the impacts by sector and included historical context and an outlook. The data was impressive, but hard to consume without some visuals. So I asked the AI to create charts using the chart render plugin, just enable it in the settings. And wow, it started generating charts for each section of the research, along with explanations for each. For example, the first chart showed the percentage decline in the S&P 500, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones. It was super detailed, although some charts didn't include titles by default. You can click to view the titles if needed. One chart was about the S&P 500 and NASDAQ performance in 2025. Very clear and well-structured. Of course, I'd recommend fact-checking the data for accuracy. Now, I wanted to create a PowerPoint file based on this info for my presentation. I had already enabled the PowerPoint generator plugin. If you also need it, I've included a guide in the description. You're welcome. Just like and subscribe to the channel if you appreciate it. Within seconds, it generated a PowerPoint for me. Pretty cool, right? Let me open the file to check the quality. Wow, so cool. A working presentation file. But I noticed it didn't include all the details I wanted like insights of the charts. So I asked the AI to add those insights. And another file was generated. All right, let me check it again. It looked great now. The slides included an overview, charts, and insights as I asked for. Just amazing. It really felt like the level of work I'd expect from a decent intern helping to prepare my presentation to report to my boss. There are so many use cases for this deep research tool. For instance, you could research the best shopping malls in Seoul, South Korea when you're traveling. Plus, you can combine it with the image search plugin to get real images of the recommended places. Super convenient. Or you can use it to dive into a complex topic like new psychoactive substances. This could save researchers a tremendous amount of time compared to manually searching through Google for information. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you need anything in the comments. See you next time.